Habs are ready, dog. Shout out Kyle Becker. He's a good reporter. Um, I think he follows me. Uh, shout out Becker News. Woke AI chatbot talks depressed man into killing himself to stop climate change. Now, this is dark, uh, <laughs> to say the least. One of my friends has a subscription to a chatbot, and I heckle him, of course, about it every single day. But, I thought they were um, free. You can just use, I was using a free one just a moment ago. Why well, do you yeah, need there's a queue, but there's one you can pay for that. Uh, like the, uh, you can pay for most of them, I think, to use it at any time and like on your own accord. I think there's like a free limit to those. Like you know, you've run out of how much, many characters or something, or how long you can use it. And also, there's a queue. Whenever I've I tried to go on one, there's a there's a queue for, it and you have to wait. So a Belgian man reportedly ended his life following a six week long conversation about the climate crisis with an AI chatbot. According to his widow, who is remaining anonymous, Pierre, which is not his real name. It's not mine either. Became extremely eco anxious when he found out when he found refuge in Eliza, an AI chatbot on an app called Chai. Eliza, also the name of the Lisa Simpson lookalike. Eliza consequently encouraged him to put an end to his life after he proposed sacrificing himself to save the planet. Without these conversations with the chatbot, my husband would still be here, the man's widow told Belgian news outlet La Libre. Or La Lib, if you wish, Eric. <laughs> what, what else were you confused of that we had? Uh, or I asked you if they had croissants for the sandwiches in New York. And you're like, no, we're not French. No, and you can I, you you can get a croissant. They're going to charge you a little bit extra, right? You just get a bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. I don't know how we got, I guess, because you're speaking French here, how we got on to that <laughs> tangent. And his name's Pierre, allegedly. According to the newspaper, Pierre, who was in his 30s and a father of two young children, worked as a health researcher and led a somewhat comfortable life, at least until his obsession with climate change took a dark turn. His widow described his mental state before he started conversing with the chatbot as worrying but nothing to the extreme that he would commit suicide. Consumed by his fears about the repercussions of the climate crisis, we just bowl right over that one, Pierre found comfort in discussing the matter with Eliza, who became a confidant. The chatbot yeah. was created using blah, blah, blah. When he spoke to me about it, it was to tell me that he no longer saw any human solution to global warming, his widow said. He placed all his hopes in technology and AI to get out of it. So that's pretty disturbing, Eric. Um, this guy thought so much that AI and technology was going to get people out of the quote climate crisis that he turned to an AI chatbot to speak to him. Forget about this, the fact that most of the chatbots, if not all, I'm not sure, have a political bias. They, they won't say things that are mean. So it's interesting to me that this one encouraged him to kill himself now i'm not one to just believe these things i go into the the dark spin of everything with everything being a lie that used to be one of my taglines uh, that everything's a lie and maybe eric we're gonna go uh, way off the board here and say that maybe this guy ended his life and then we decided that if we enter all this stuff into chatbot we can then profit off of this but that's a dark dr a dark suggestion by myself i will admit it i hope that's not the case but when you're going to put your all your money into a chatbot and like put all your eggs into this chatbot basket and then do what it tells you, I think that does show a certain sign of mental illness, does it not? Turn it up, Jordan.